away, Kate Spain. <laughs> Did you all watch Britain's Got Talent? Yeah. What about 80-year-old Paddy Salsa dancing with her partner, Nico? <laughs> well, I say dancing. If that had been caught on CCTV at a nursing home, Nico could be looking at five years for GBA. <laughs> <laughs> The moves she could do, what? I showed the clip to me nan, I did, yeah. The next time she rings me and says she can't get out the bath, she should have a long, hard look at herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't Simon buzz too quickly with that owl? Yeah. yeah. I guess he was worried he might think his flat top was a bird table and land on it. <laughs> I swear. Stop <laughs> picking it, it's dandruff, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I love owls, do you? Okay. <laughs> they can rotate their necks nearly 260 degrees. I mean, how cool would that be, girls? Doing the dirty wine and being able to watch your own buttocks jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. Okay. laughs> David Cameron swanned off to Lanzarote for his holiday. Oh, yeah, it's all right for some, isn't it? <laughs> Did you see Cameron in his shorts? <laughs> His legs are whiter than the UKIP European election candidate list. <laughs> They're like Rylan's teeth, innit? <laughs> if I'm honest, I think Rylan's teeth's got more hair on them. I do. <laughs> oh, Apparently, his villa has got a yoga room and hammocks. You, t you won't catch me in a hammock. No, not with my back fat. You wouldn't. <laughs> it comes through the netting. It does. <laughs> It ends up looking like a waffle machine that's been overfilled with butter. <laughs> Duh. Duh, stop it. At least Cameron wasn't caught trying to take his trunks off under a Mickey Mouse towel like last year. Did you see that? <laughs> Put it this way, I don't remember Mickey Mouse having a pink nose. Do you know what I mean? Or... <laughs> <laughs> or wrinkled ears. No, that... <laughs> no, don't. 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 And finally, this will warm the cockles of your heart. This one. Finally, a 12-year-old girl became Britain's youngest mum this week. Oh. Oh. That, isn't it? <laughs> Britain's youngest mum. It sounds so shocking. But make it the great British youngest mum. <laughs> Melon Suter host. Oh, my God. <laughs> as soon as the mum went into labour, the dad rushed to be by her side. Well, that's the advantage of wearing Heelys. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, though, according to the papers, the young parents are very into each other. No s***. <laughs> I think that's what caused the problem in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Shopping, shopping. What a line-up we have for you tonight. I'll be talking and tequila-ing with a trio of top Tinseltown totty. Yes, the stars of The Other Woman. Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann and Kate Upton are in the house. <laughs> yes. He's the master baker who can give me the perfect rise with just a nibble on my muffin top. <laughs> That's right, I'll be chatting to Bake Off star Paul Hollywood later. <laughs> But first, he was the most famous paddy on Saturday Night Telly until that salsa dancing granny had Simon Cow's eyes out on stalks. Give it up for Paddy <laughs> McGinnis! Coming on the show, I thought he loves that kind. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't get enough of that trash. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So, what have you got planned for your Easter weekend, love? Well, I don't know about you, Al, but bank holidays. In this job we do, mm -hmm. it's more of an hindrance, really, because I'll go to a shop and they'll say shut for bank holiday. I go selfish. Yeah, you know what I mean. How do they? So, for me, if I go anywhere on a bank holiday, it's just rammers, and it's like. <laughs> 
Yeah. Let, let the cork see the screw and all that. Obviously, I'm at Alton Towers for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I kind of avoid it, really. I stay yeah. in. Oh, a nice barbecue with your friends is good. I like a boozy barbecue. Do you go boozy? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love all that. Love all that. Get stuck in. Yeah. And then, like, at first on a boozy one, because you start off and you're cooking all the food, and it's like, is that cooked? And we'll just check, and, like, two hours in, get in here, raw. Eat it. E. coli in a bun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, you've got kids now. Do you have to do kiddie things? Uh, well, it's not too bad, because... Uh, the nine and a half months old, so oh yes. I mean, it's a lovely age, uh, but they just kind of sort of crawl around the floor and everything else. And uh, mums and dads will know if they're watching at home. You know, it's tiring, but, oh, it, but it's but it's fantastic. I absolutely yeah. love it. Well, you know, I've uh, I had my uh, my brother down the weekend. He's got two year old Max, my nephew. Yeah, and it's. You know the terrible twos when people go, oh, they never stop still, and you go, yeah, yeah, whatever. If anyone can have a kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> my God. They don't. No. Two of them, they run around. La, 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 yeah. la. <laughs> Just yeah. sit still. Yeah. Nah, nah, no, nah. no. I know, you've had it. I tried to get his hair cut. Have you tried to get a two-year-old's hair cut? <laughs> I was going to resort to a headlock and a general anaesthetic. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> They do. They, 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 they play by their own rules. And you've got twins and all. You've twins, got... yeah. Oh. Yeah, boy and a girl as well, so... It's kind of full on, but already now, even at that age, nine and a half months, you know, my daughter, Penelope, she's really... You've got to kind of work hard to get a smile off her. But my son, Leo, he's just like, oh, hello. Oh. You know, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 when you walk yeah. in, like, you know, so, uh, um, you know, they've both got their own personalities, but they're fantastic. I know you shouldn't say this, but have you got a favourite out of the two? <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't. You can't. Have you no, you... Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, really, because you kind of some days you don't have favourites, but some days you just go on who doesn't cry as much. So if someone's not, not yeah. cried or they've slept through, that's my favourite for that yeah. particular day. Yeah. Yeah. But no, you just it's just, honestly, I never thought it way back when back in the days around Manchester and all the comedy clubs and the comedy mm. store and stuff like that. And, when we did Phoenix Nights and you're kind of a bit mad and you're going out and you're drinking and everything else, and when you do have kids and you get a bit older, you sort of... You really kind of think, well, this is what life's all about, really, you know, oh, and God, I absolutely yeah. love it. It's funny how you change. It's like me, I'm like, single working mum, I've got two red setters. I'm like, um... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like the white D of the dog world. <laughs> <laughs> You just oh, sort of, you, you just sort of settle you down and what have you. You do, you do. But but you know what? Like I look at your dress sense, yeah. and I think it's really, really good. And I do, I do. No, don't snigger. Don't snigger. Because do you like me both? No, I do. That's what I'm saying to you. Because when when we, like I, I'm forty now. Yeah. No, if I wore them, I'd get my head kicked in round Bolton. <laughs> but you carry them off. You look well. So I think age. You kind of. It's just one of them things. It's just how you feel, isn't oh. it? Really. Cos I say, I'm approaching 40, you see, and then you can't go Excuse shopping... Excuse me, approaching? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have got a minute! You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got yeah. a minute! I've yeah. got 37! Yeah. 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 I am 37! <laughs> oh, all right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're all friends. We're all friends. <laughs> now, so when you're 40, then, how, how's it feel being 40? I mean, are you but embracing from... it or are you going like, Dignitas, bring it on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't embrace it. I think just kind, kind of like, apart from shopping at Burton's now, you know, everything's the same, really. <laughs> but you just feel comfortable with yourself, don't you? Well, I think so. You see, the thing is with me, I've already got the voice of an old lady. I, <laughs> I just need the body to catch up. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've noticed, well, you know when you get your hair cut and stuff? You know when the clippers start going further and further down your back? Why do they do that? <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah. pulling it right back. I'm like, wait a minute, ain't you back a love? Yeah. And he's like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have a little, bad, little pair of them, uh, like, uh, scissors for, for nails in me, in me wash bag. And I, I never use them for my nails, and I just use them for me ear and me nose there. <laughs> do it or do it! There are a few blokes who did it. You all do it! Lying <laughs> in <laughs> uh, So, you know, but that's the sort of thing you go, yeah. oh, where's that come from? Get that out. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs>
We've got to talk about your new show yet. Oh, uh, Amazing, amazing Race. Race. Yeah. 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 If you haven't seen it, it's like Gladiators meets the Golden Girls, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little it bit is. like that, yeah. Well, it's, you know, we have kind of a way peas on it who you'd know, like Sir Jeffers. Yeah. And John Lord Dirt play David Hamilton DJ and what have you. But we also have OAPs who, who were kind of won gold medals and world champions. Mm. You wouldn't have a clue, you know. Yeah. So when I first met them, I'm doing that thing like, oh, welcome to. Are you all right? I'll get. Yeah. Sit yourself down there and then bang, they're doing like a thousand press ups. And... Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, anyone thinks like old people aren't competitive, you should go to a jumble sale. <laughs> My <laughs> God, they will take you down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cardigan, yeah. you're like this. Give me yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it is, because well, even on the show, they kind of sit with a group, though, with Angela Rippon in the corner of the studios, and they're all very nice and polite. But when you get them on, like, you know, we've got a, a lady uh, tomorrow called Pat Toombs, 67-year-old, five-foot-tall power lifter, right? And you're like... And she comes on sort of... Uh, like that, and you're like, oh, Christ, is she going to be all right? Are you worried that it's going to like have a detrimental effect? And you see like an old person like struggling <laughs> with two large bags, and you're thinking, well, I'm not going to help her. You're going to try to do a body slam. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, do you? People, no. well, I'm not fighting them all. No, I think it's a good thing, especially for yeah. older people, because people, you know. You, you see an older person, sometimes they get written off. Yeah, you're you know, right, you're uh, right. and, and they have had lives and, and careers and and everything else, you know, and, and this show's brilliant for championing them. But also, we want, you know, we want the younger people to kind of have a good go against them and try and beat them, you know. Yeah. And is it true you and Angela Rippon tested out some of the things beforehand? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, there she is. I love Angela. The thing about Angela is, right, she's such a classy lady, yeah. but you know when you're with someone who's, who's really classy and it makes you feel like even further down the ladder than you already <laughs> are? <laughs> because I was talking and, uh we were talking to someone about Gogglebox. I said, hey, do you watch Gogglebox, Angela, overnight? We're brilliant. She went, no, I watched this documentary about the start of World War One. It was amazing. They came... I'm like, oh, Jesus, I've not... <laughs> you've lost, you've lost <laughs> me, you know? But she's like that. She carries herself really well, and she's kind of a legend in show business, really. And it's, is, it, it's yeah. just... Uh, it's meant to be kind of working with her. Yeah. She's got cracking legs as well, isn't she? Fantastic. You see her legs? Fantastic. She once did a, a cartwheel behind me and got me in a thigh lock. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that film, Diamonds Are Forever, with Bambi and Bumper? Angela, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe she was... Because on my research notes, it had Angela Rippon, 69, and I didn't know if that was her age or a special talent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, don't you think? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, good luck with the rest of Amazing Grace. I can't wait to see Pat this Oh, Saturday. she's fantastic, yeah. honestly. She's brilliant. Is that it? Yeah. I oh, was just enjoying the old gold. Oh, oh is yeah. he with his fans? Oh, oh, you've got Hollywood on the show. I'm not only about that Scouse Baker either. I'm like proper Hollywood. Oh, yeah. yeah just get them on. Get McGuinness on. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure, Pat as McGinnis, always. Everyone. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Katie B and Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann and Kate Upton will be here in a bit. First, though, is the Bake Off Beefcake with the best buns in the business after me. Put your hands together for Paul Hollywood! Listen, what do you think? <laughs> Is that a good face? It's like, um... Those sweets you had when you were a kid. You know, like a, uh, the strawberry sherbets you used oh, to have yeah, when you were a kid? Yeah, it's yeah. like that. Oh, really? And you didn't like those? Didn't like no, strawberry no. sherbets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when Mel and Sue were on here, they were <laughs> saying how much Mary Berry likes to drink. Oh, stop. Honestly, did you... Is she did, really did, what did bad? they say? How much did they say... Well, they, they basically said that she could lift this up, you know, like the world's strongest man, Atlas Ball, and just drain the globe in one night. <laughs> said she's out of control. Um, listen, she... <laughs> <laughs> when, we, when we go back to the hotel in the evening, you know, after Bake Off, and it's a, normally a really nice hotel, country hotel, Mary goes, not, not as big as Mary's house, obviously, but when, when we go in... <laughs> And the Mary, Mary comes in in a roller with a with a Victoria sponge and a flag fluttering from the front of the car. Yeah. And we arrive down the drive where they sort of pipe her in, and then she goes, "Oh, I'll have um, I'll have a gin and tonic. I'll I'll say, okay, fair enough, or a Sauvignon Blanc. So which is ever available. So I go into the drawing room. I normally just walk straight in, have a beer, and start having a, a drink. 
And Mary comes down with her bag and then puts yeah. her bag down on her lap. Yeah. Like my nan used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And she used to sit there on that. She goes, I love a Sauvignon Blanc. She's like the Queen. Yeah. It's like having dinner with the Queen. Oh, right, but she's not, like, down in the bottle and all that. That comes later. Oh, right. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were saying she went clubbing in Pasha, Pasha? in Ibiza. She went to Pasha. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apparently, because we, we were taking the mickey out of it and saying, oh, you know, we, we, we know, we're talking about, where have you been, you know, did you go clubbing Mary? And Mary goes, well, actually, yes, I've been to Pasha. I went, what? Oh, my God. You know, she, saw, she spoke the whole thing, she had a great yeah. night. It was someone's party there. Yeah. And she turned up, and apparently she was there till about 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh my <laughs> God! Unbelievable, is it? They uh, have to I'm... drag her off the pole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, She's going to kill you, me. You are She's pulling my... my <laughs> <laughs> And you sometimes stay at Mary's house, is that true? I do, yeah. If, if I'm in, uh, you know, in, in London filming, yeah. uh, or if I'm around that area, or if I'm passing, yeah. I normally phone her up and say, listen, Bez, I'm, uh, I'm in town. Yeah. Uh, is there any chance that you stay over tonight? Because I've got a zip. And she goes, yeah, there's no problem. Yeah. I'll make up the West Wing. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, I do stay over. And obviously, as you're coming down the drive, you can hear the hardcore rave music. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do that as well, please. <laughs> I'll be wearing that in a minute. <laughs> 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 oh, that's lovely, that. If I'm not that bad looking, am I? No, I you've lost loads of weight. I know. What have you been doing? Tapeworm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I've been looking after myself. Yeah. Just being a bit healthier, do you know what I mean? I hope you're eating bread. Well, that's the thing. You're... Oh, you know, I've been having bread. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm on a vegan diet. You know, like Beyonce, she's on that 22 day. I want to look like her. <laughs> they ain't got a wind machine for next week's show. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if you want to go on that diet, and you can have bread on that diet, what, yeah, bread, you, what bread would you eat normally? What kind of. You see, the thing is, you know, you're big in bread, yeah? Why do all breads? That's what I think. Breads all sound rude, don't they? You got Krusty Cobb, Bloomer, <laughs> yeah. <f> Kasha. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I mean, I find it a bit too hardcore. Yeah. I don't want all this potty mouth when I'm doing my shopping. <laughs> I mean, what's your favourite bread? I mean, I like a nice bit of ciabatta, don't you, yeah. ciabatta? I, I, I like a baguette, actually. A baguette, um, yeah. Do you like baguette? Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the... The baguette, I, I, for me, it's that crispiness and that lovely soft crumb inside. Yeah. And me, just a bit, a bit of ham in there, a bit of brie, maybe. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, fantastic. yeah. I mean, where do you stand? Because you get, like, a lot of people, who oh, don't eat wheat or I don't eat gluten or no, yeah. like that. Do you agree with them? Or of do you course. think, oh, come on, grow it, some... Listen... Have the... a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> who cares if you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is about... Uh, if you're celiac, you can't have the gluten. Or you, you may have a wheat problem as well. Mm. Um, the problem is with celiac, you can't have gluten, so you can have rice flour, you can have chestnut flour, um, and you can use xanthagum, so you can prepare things very similar. You know? yeah. So there are things you can do. Now, the big problems with celiac is getting diagnosed, that's the big problem. Most people don't yeah. know they've got that's a problem true, with it. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the people that wind me up are the people that go, I've got a slight wheat intolerance. And now, they're, they're the people I think, have you got a wheat intolerance? Mm, have you really? Oh, right. And the, so, for me, I, I would say just watch what you eat, watch bread. Don't yeah. get a whole loaf and then eat the whole loaf and go, I'm bloated. It's because you ate the whole loaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the whole idea is anything, I, as far as I can, I eat anything but in moderation. And that's basically my rule. Have you ever been tempted to see if someone genuinely is allergic to wheat? But no. No. By spiking their food with croutons <laughs> when they're not looking. <laughs> and if they go, what the hell's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, you have got a wheat. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though, isn't it, that, um, that cooking's become so big now. Baking. Bake, baking, sorry, love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when have you lot stopped giving a <laughs> about baking? Oh. Um, <laughs> I think baking... I think baking... What's the difference between baking and cooking? Well, baking, Why have you been... Baking goes in the oven, you could cook on a hob. Oh. Bacon goes in the oven. <laughs> the thing is, I think bacon is, is, is accessible. I think anybody can do it. Yeah. The thing is that everyone will, will have the ingredients in the, in the store cupboards already at home. How many people here have got flour in their, in their cupboards? Yeah. Eggs? Yeah. Butter? Yeah. Sugar? Yeah. 
they can go and make a, yeah. a sponge straight away. So the whole idea is, you know, you might be covered in weevils and might have been sitting there for six years, but <laughs> they could technically go yeah. out and make a, a sponge yeah. or a loaf. I've got another thing, though, about baking. Yeah. We're all busy people. Who's got the time to bake an actual loaf in the morning? It's about timing. I think a lot of people kind of, they time it right. They can actually make it in the evening before they go to bed and bake it in the morning. So what would you do then? Put it in the fridge or what? You can leave it in the fridge uh, and it will grow in the fridge. Um, but the best thing to do is just leave it outside, drop yeast down, and over the eight hours you're asleep, or four hours, then you wake up and it's ready and you pop it straight in the oven. Yeah. Or just get Mary Berry to come in when she comes from a pasha. I'm not too big, <laughs> Mary will do it. <laughs> that bake is so popular. Yeah. in Britain. You're actually doing a baking tour, aren't you? I am. Uh, it's called Get Your Bake On Tour. Yeah. Um, I'm travelling all over the country. I start on um, April the 28th up in Newcastle, yeah. and I go out to Glasgow and then start filtering my way through the country. Um, the idea is to take... What I want to do is be very interactive with the audience, so answer all the questions that people bombard me with on the train or, or at an yeah. airport. You know, what's going on? How, why does my sponge why, why does it drop? What about my bread's like a house brick? And so I want to answer those questions, but I'll be doing... People recipe. actually stop you and ask yeah, you that. Yeah. yeah. Why don't my bread rise, really? Yeah. Why is my bread like a house brick? And I'm going, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I have to sit there for ten minutes trying to figure out yeah. what they're putting in, what, whose recipe you're using, you know, need to buy my book. Yeah. And so the whole thing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so the, whole, the whole idea of the tour is I'm going to cover recipes from when I was a kid yeah. with my mum sort of making pies right the way through to now. Yeah. Uh, and I want it to be interactive. At the end, I'm going to have four people on stage and I'm going to, I'm going to show them a challenge. They're then going to copy it and then the audience are going to pick one and they're going to go in with the back right. of the But I've got, I've got something for you, actually. Oh, what's this? There's your very own ticket. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> That's at Hammersmith, and I know it couldn't be too far from you. No, that's where I live, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't live actually in the Apollo. I'm not like Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the roof looking down going, run. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. No, you Thank must come you. on. We'll have a few drinks. Oh, but I'd rather talk to you on a train about why my bread is rock solid. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, pleasure, pleasure. But, but I mean, I went to see Beyonce yeah, at the O2. Yeah. Now she's whizzing along, costume changes, dancing, dry ice. How much can we expect of that? Or you'll get your bake on. <laughs> Are you going to do apron changes? To be honest, the way, <laughs> the way I feel at the moment, there'll certainly be an underpant change after about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am looking forward to it as well. I can't wait to get out there. I'm, I'm going to have a right laugh. Can people shout out requests and stuff? <laughs> I'm not DJ. <laughs> <laughs> They, I think they could. Yeah. Uh, they might get a bit of abuse back. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I'll be doing uh, a lot of recipes throughout the night. Someone's oh, going, do as a baguette, do as a, a gatto. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I will do what I'm going to do. Uh, if I can help and bring someone on stage and show them, yeah. then I'm more than happy to do that. Are you going to have, like, a warm-up person? Because, you know, sometimes... Yeah, I've got a guy called Alex Boardman. Okay, uh, he's yeah, a comedy yeah. writer and he's, uh, he's going to I know him and... from uh, Manchester. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he's good yeah, guy. yeah. He's great we get together, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a great guy. And uh, so Alex is going to go out and um, help me warm them up. <laughs> you'll be, be fine. Then. Stop worrying, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be great. I'm a little bit <laughs> didn't come to me for the warm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alan Carr, Chibatia man. <laughs> You missed a trick there. I did miss a trick. Back with the tour, and I'll see you in Hammersmith. Thank you. Yeah. Paul Hollywood, everyone! But first, give it up for not one, not two, but three of the funniest, most fabulous and famous women in film today. Go nuts, go wild for Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann and Kate Upton. <laughs> You know, we're yes. here now. Yes, you We've are. Finally arrived. <laughs> oh, and you are worth the wait, Thank baby. You. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> but, I mean, I've had a lot of Hollywood stars in here, but this has got to be 
the best looking sofa yet. And it <laughs> made, oh, come on. Do you know what? You're even making me look like a minger. <laughs> We don't make you look like that. Oh, no. really? We, we don't make you look like so you're that. saying I look like that anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It works both ways, Cameron. <laughs> By the way, did we say how handsome you look this yeah, evening? Yeah, you do. Oh, and you, you haven't even had some of that. You do. Tonight, like you I did. feel like we all were God. on the same spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a lovely face you're putting. <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? Well, we've yeah. got to talk, got to talk about your new film, yes. The Other Woman, of course. Mm -hmm. It's not a bromance, it's a homance. Do you want to tell Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 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 your marketing <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> okay. I want that on the poster. The <laughs> Alan Carr, chat your man, homance. <laughs> now, you, basically, you find out your husband's been with Cameron. Yes. And then you both find out... That but he's he's been, been, mm. but neither of them know he's married. Right. No, exactly. Yes. It's hard to have like a serious conversation right now when I feel like I'm. A <laughs> 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 What's the best way to be on this show? <laughs> but now, Kate, love, this is your first acting. Yeah. Isn't it? Your proper acting debut. Mm -hmm. Now, were they nice with you? They weren't like sticking your head down the toilet, stealing your dinner money, going like, yeah. <laughs> they were like, really, like, really welcoming and everything. I'm so lucky to have these two on set. I mean, they helped me every step of the way. Like, um, I was shooting that bikini scene, and um, I, I was sitting there. Even I got a semi, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> A little <laughs> uncomfortable because e even though I'm very I, proud of my body and I love my body, you know, a bunch of people are staring at you. You're like, like 60 people. Like 60, like 60 well, people are yeah. staring at you. You're like, all right, go back to your phones and let me just do my job. And they could tell that I was feeling uncomfortable and they came out off camera and ran yeah. with me. So I wasn't alone. Did you get like people just turning up who weren't even working on the film, just sorting out the sand? <laughs> <laughs> Their love, yeah, you know. Well, no, because I bet they do, because you know, you know, I bet there's a lot of <laughs> hanging around. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's uncomfortable, you know, but I had my, <laughs> I had my girls. <laughs> Sorry, your glasses are steeped up. Your glasses are steeped up. <laughs> do women actually talk about other women's bodies as <laughs> is that? Do they really? Of course, you admire other women. Yes. I admire these two. Really? I appreciate these two. These are some of the most beautiful women Ooh. I've ever seen. Now, did you have a thing oh for her? Hello, didn't you? Have, you really uh, love Kate's I have um, a daughter who's five years younger than Kate, and um, I missed her at the time because yeah. I hadn't seen her in a couple of weeks. And so, um, you know, when I'm with my, my kids, I have two kids, I, I just kind of grab them and go, oh, they're so cute, oh, nah, 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 nah. And, and Kate was walking ahead of me on the stairs one day, <laughs> and, and, and her little in front of me, and I just went, oh, no, 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 and she was like, what are you Yeah, doing? this is like the first day. Now listen, I'll be honest. We're distracted. Yeah, we're, no, we're distracted. Listen, I was saying, we're, 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 Easter. It's we're Easter. We can multitask, we're women. Now, to be honest with you, I did have a bit of a <laughs> over your husband. You did? Oh, really? In the really? film, in the film, not your real oh, husband. Nicolai. I wasn't like, following oh, oh, him around. Oh, I was going to say, that's weird. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> not that anything's wrong with my husband, you I was too, outside your I'm house like... with some binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, is it true you yes. were allergic to him? It was the weirdest thing. Um, so, Nikolai is very handsome. And, um, and I've been married for 17 years. And um, so I was excited about Hello. being, yes, being able fit. to kiss him. Yeah. Because, you know, people say, like, oh, no, the, the, you know, all this stuff on movies is, like, really technical. We're working. And, we're, working. Uh, we're working. It's and, not what you think. And I was like, yes. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. So I went to kiss him and went in and kissed him, and it hurt because he had this scruff. And then I broke out in hives, and they thought maybe it was like his aftershave or something. So they rinsed him off. Rinsed him off. Yeah. Well, like him a off. jet wash, you get the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> and Riddled. <laughs> 
kissed again, and same thing. Hives. Oh but my God. Because I'm a professional Be, and I did my job. She did her job. I, 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 also, I, she was allergic to the dog. Yeah. So every time she was working with either Nikolai or, or the dog, she had to take an allergy pill. Which was like every oh, single no. scene. Yes. <laughs> she did. But that though. dog was huge because the dog really went in your mouth. No, they were the dog went into my mouth. No. That, that, no. Scene, that scene was not. Oh yeah, that's what I do for my work, my art. Okay, <laughs> my art. That was not written. That actually happened. Well, they're hanging that there. Dog... You can't miss them. They oh are hanging God. there. Oh my God, they are like that. They are so. They like, they like no. Hold no, on a second. That's they're what like they're like. This. No, no they're no, not. They're like that. They're like that. They're like that. And then he has these little they... sprouty, feathery bits on his. <laughs> and they're so. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that actually was not ha what was written. The dog was supposed to just jump through the front seat. And as it came through, it literally like just wha whacked, like me. whacked me. And I was like, and I was like, oh, oh, oh no. God. I mean, I mean, that was <laughs> because it was. You were teabagged by a great dame. <laughs> Good luck with the film. When's it out? Thank you. The 23rd of April. 23rd of April. Fantastic. Right? Okay, shall I have my little shot before we say goodbye, girls? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to sleep after this, by the okay. way. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 That's it for tonight's show. A massive thank you to Paddy McGuinness, Paul Hollywood, and of course, Kate Upton, Leslie Mann, and Cameron Diaz.